There's nothing. She's just lying there with the machine keeping her breathing. The other day when I was talking about depression, I wasn't thinking. And I wasn't listening. I'm going to turn into a hell of a doctor if I can't discuss a patient without making it all about Caroline. No, I know, but I... I could have put it better, couldn't I? You know, sometimes I've sat and watched people with someone they love in a coma. I remember people who just... just wouldn't leave, who felt that if they just stayed, if they just kept talking, if they... I don't know. If the contact wasn't broken, everything would be all right. It's not over, so Gordon. It's not what you think, is it? I just don't know what I think. All I know is that I'm struggling to talk to her. I've just got nothing to say. I've had nothing to say for a long time. And I don't know which is worse, when I'm with her or when I'm away from her. Well, either way, it sounds like you're mostly feeling sorry for yourself, so that's a great help. I asked for that. Listen to me. You can't change what's happened to Caroline. You can only look after the children and hope that they find a way through this. And you can't know if she'll come back. Not now, but... There's something else that you can't change. That's what's happened between us two. I know. Do you wish that you could change it? Sometimes. Me too. And other times? All I know is that seeing you is the only thing that's holding me together. any further than that, just now. And there's no strings and there's no commitments and there's nothing that needn't change when you want it to change, when you when you need it to change. Oh, don't say this. <laughs> I need you, Gordon. I do understand. 